Hi there, welcome to Data Weekly. I'm Felicia, and joining me today is the one and only Kevin. How's going, Kevin? Hey, Felicia. I'm doing great and excited to dive into the highlights from Dot Dot News this week. Let's get started. Absolutely. So first up, we're gonna talk about the citywide ban on single-use plastic that just kicked in. Oh boy, it's been causing some hilarious and frustrating situations, hasn't it? People use paper spoons for sticky rice chicken, only to have them go all mushy in no time. And those take up full containers with paper leaves, they melt when they come in contact with heat, resulting in some messy soup spills. Who would have thought? And get this, even the transparent sushi containers at supermarkets got a makeover. They're now paper boxes, so customers can't even check the freshness of the sushi inside. It's like playing a game of sushi blind box. Talk about oddities, right? But indeed, we should call in for everyone to join hands in promoting environmental protection. Yeah, the Environmental Protection Developments Platform provides more than 700 types of non-plastic alternatives for plastic regulation with an abundant supply. That's good to hear. And moving on, let's talk about the welcome dinner hosted by Chef Executive John Lee for the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Business Advisory Council delegates. Ah, that sounds fancy. Over 200 delegates from Apex member economies gathered in Hong Kong to discuss trade, investment facilitation, digital transformation, and sustainability. Absolutely. Lee emphasized Hong Kong's commitment to regional economic integration, how cooperation is crucial to tackle global challenges. It's great to see Hong Kong actively fostering growth in the region. Lee even shared Hong Kong's growth strategy through innovation, inclusiveness, and sustainability. Working together with the ABEC business community sounds promising. Chef Executive John Lee says the authorities have already for the influx of visitors and have made preparations at control points. That's right. They're expecting around 6 million people to enter or leave Hong Kong during the first week of May. Special arrangements have been put in place to handle the busy periods. And to make it easier for tourists to explore the city, KMB announced the Tourist Day Pass. It's available for purchase online at designated sales points for 55 Hong Kong dollars per pass. That's a great deal. The pass covers over 450 KMB and long wind bus routes, so tourists can hop on and off buses to their heart's content. Plus, starting May the 1st, they can even enjoy cash rebates when using electronic payments at various shopping malls. Shopping and sightseeing all in one. Now let's wrap up with the weather forecast. The Hong Kong floods are warm of heavy showers and a stormy weekend ahead due to a tough of low pressure. Ah, typical unpredictable weather. The observatory even had to issue the amber storm warning signal multiple times this week. At least they mentioned that the low pressure should weaken early next week. Yep, but brace yourself because another type of low pressure is expected to fall midweek next week. So keep those umbrellas handy. Absolutely. Well, that wraps up this week's program. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll catch you next week with more exciting news from Dot Dot News. Take care and enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Stay safe and have a fantastic week ahead. See you soon. Bye-bye.